the next topic is parallel axis theorem the parallel axis theorem states that the moment of inertia of a plane lamina about any axis is equal to the sum of moment of inertia about a parallel axis passing through the centroid and the product of area and the square of the distance between the two parallel axis to explain it let's consider an area this is the area a this is area a and uh, this is the centroid c of this area and this is the axis centroidal axis x dash and you know i x dash that is the moment of inertia of the area with respect to a centroidal axis and you want to know what is the moment of inertia of another axis axis which is parallel to the centroidal axis in such a case we can say that i x equal to the moment of inertia of centroidal axis plus the product of area and the distance let the distance be h so a into h square this is parallel axis theorem moment of inertia of an area about an axis is the sum of moment of inertia of the area about an axis parallel to the a passing through the centroid and the product of area and distance square that is a into h square okay. now we want to prove this so for that consider a small area that is d a d a and the distance from centroidal axis to d a that is y is represented by y now the moment of inertia of the area with respect to the centroidal axis that is i x dash equal to integral y square d d a integral y square d a integral y square d a this we know that is nothing but the definition of moment of inertia now with respect to this axis with respect to x i x equal to integral of what about y that means the distance to d a from x axis that is the sum of y and h so instead of y we have to write y plus h the whole square d a okay is it clear the so distance from x to d a will be the sum of distance y plus h y plus h the whole square into d a you are expanding this is equal to integral of y square plus 2 y h plus h square into d a this is equal to can write it as three terms y square d a y square d a plus 2 h because h is constant so inside the integral it will be there will be y 
डी ए ओके टू एच वाई डी ए प्लस एच स्क्वायर डी एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू अटो बट इंटीग्रल वाई स्क्वायर डी ए इंटीग्रल वाई स्क्वायर डी ए इज आई एक्स डैश मैंने फिनो से एपर्ट सेंट्रल एक्सिस प्लस टू एच व्हाट इस इंटीग्रल वाई डी ए इंटीग्रल वाई डी ए फॉर दैट आई होप यू रिमेम्बर द डेफिनेशन ऑफ वाई बार व्हाट इस वाई बार दैट इस इंटीग्रल वाई डी ए इंटीग्रल वाई डी ए बाय ए so uh, integral y dA is y bar into integral y dA may be written as y bar into a okay so this is actually y bar a plus integral oh I forgot to write the integral integral dA square dA so when you integrate dA you will get h square into a h square into a so this is equal to i x bar in the what is y bar actually the centroid is uh, the axis we have considered is the centroidal axis that means it is passing through the centroid that means y bar is zero so this term vanish and we will get a h square so i x equal to i x equal to i x bar plus a h square this is parallel axis theorem perpendicular axis theorem this theorem states that the moment of inertia of a plane lamina about an axis perpendicular to the lamina and passing through the centroid is equal to the sum of moment of inertia of the lamina about two mutually perpendicular axes in the same plane and passing through the centroid the this is the area and uh, I think it has three dimensional. You know, I x x and I y. This is actually an x bar because this is the centroid. C y bar uh, y uh, y dash. So these two things you know. That is i x dash and y dash. Moment of inertia about two mutually perpendicular axes. That is x and y. If you know this, then the moment of inertia about an axis perpendicular to the lamina. That means this is the third axis, and that will be z. That is. I Z is I Z is equal to I X bar plus I Y dash. The sum of moment of inertia of two mutually perpendicular axes, which are in the same plane. Okay, X and Y are in the same plane. So this is known as perpendicular axis theorem. I said.